Hello and welcome to yet another video with me, Jonas Andersson, where I'm uh, intending to tie my version of the Gipe Salmon Sea Trout Fly. Um, I do it in, in uh, fluorescent orange and uh, um, yeah, it's a nice, it, it looks great in the water. So i just quickly going to tie one here for you guys. Uh, so let's begin. Let's begin. Um, going to tie this uh, Gipe version that, that I um, did a few days ago. So attaching the thread to the hook, in this case I'm using a partridge hook, just a thick salmon hook. And going back to the bar point, we're gonna attach extra small bit of silver tinsel. If there's in the background noise, our neighbors' crazy kids are yeah, renovating or tearing apart their apartment. Same as everything. And then we have the silver tinsel in place, it's oval silver tinsel. Grabs of that one. And securing the silver tinsel and tie it in. Up to that point somewhere. Leftovers and it was quite a lot, so I'm gonna use it for the next fly. So, make sure it's tight, just building a little bit body for the floss, the silk floss, it's gonna be yellow. is in place so just securing the thread there cut the leftovers and next would be fluorescent polar bear so take a small bunch of that on Mm -hmm. 
hear the noisy up there. So, then I take one strand of crystal flesh. This one isn't uh, fluorescent, uh, but I just like to give it some structure. Ice the big uh, orange from Subai. I like the brand. I carry it in my shop. Let me see here. So, adding a little bit on the thread here. So, let me start just very easily. Wind it forward. A little bit more. Okay. Oh my God. Sometimes I wish it was illegal to, you know, do some invasion upstairs. Should be fluorescent orange, but 
it, it's a bit uh, red, but uh, yeah, it's fluorescent as you can see. Let me see if I can find a good one. Yeah, there we are. Tying that one in, make sure it's on top of the hook. So, next part of this one is to uh, and the next feather, this one is also fluorescent orange. Give the ice orange dubbing again. I like the, the spark, the, the shine of it. backwards Okay. 
Oh, fuck. <laughs> Sorry about my language, but uh, I just managed to hook myself. So it's a good hook. And uh, somehow I tend to do that all the time nowadays. Red feathers from, from the golden pheasant. Um, I think I'm gonna take this one. There we are. So that one is gonna be on top. Maybe that one is quite thick. The same here. It's the small ones. But I don't wanna pull out my whole box. But first, sorry, I almost forgot. Need to have one of these um, from the tippets first. Let me look at the other neck. very thick so I'm going to flatten it, make it a bit easier to train. I do is that I actually gonna change thread now. I'm gonna see it. So I have this uh, fluorescent orange thread that I'm gonna use. when you add the UV on top of it. So I think I'm going to go a little bit closer to the thread. There we are. So yes, securing it. Yes. wasn't really in my plan. So let's redo that. I use too much force. Quickly. Give me some more thread to it. A 
this power. Then I just let, let it hang there uh, and take varnish. I use veneer varnish. So I'm just adding a few layers of coating. So I'm gonna do this two or three times. But I will not show that in the video. I show the, the first one and then I show you the end results. It's a bad Monday. Polish all over the place. Okay, and there we are. So, what I'm gonna show you is I'm just gonna fire up. I'm gonna close this one and that one, and now you see it. It's really, really interesting. So, so then that, that's how I tie my um, uh, GP uh, flies and then the fluorescent orange one, which I really, really like, and it looks amazing in the water. It's just like, it's there. Uh, so um, I'm gonna fish with this, uh, and this year it's gonna be in my box. Uh, yeah, let's see what happens. Hopefully, I catch a nice sea trout uh, during night fishing. Um, I need to uh, break uh, 75 centimeters that I had last year, so I'm aim aiming at 80 plus or above 90 centimeters. That would uh, be quite nice target. And uh, yeah, of course, we do catch and release on, on very big fish, and you know we want to pre preserve the species. Um, so yeah, that is basically everything for today. You know, if you like what I'm doing, uh, please subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna add and uh, subscribe button here, and also on this side, I'm gonna add a few other videos uh, that you might be interested in. So, thanks a lot for uh, watching, and thanks a lot for all the comments, all the likes, and uh, you know, the, it's it's exciting. Thanks for for everything. See you in the next video. Bye.